Okay, I think I found a way how to do it. Let me first select some polygons up here and hide them. Then I go to top view and select these edges here and hit the W key and move them back to make a bit more room. Then uh, what do we have down here? Hmm. Well, I think we can delete these. <coughs> yes. Then I go to top view, select these edges and these edges and hit the R key and move them out and do the same here. Hit the R key, move the them out as well. Now I think we select all these polygons, not this one, perspective, and now go to work plane, align work plane to selection, go to top view, now let's bevel them. Uh, with group polygons selected, bevel them in a bit and hit the delete key. Now we have 18 edges, so I need a circle with 18 edges. and make this here. Drop the tool, reset the work plane, and uh, now I can center this in the set. like so and I probably need to rotate it a bit also. The E key so bevel this in a bit. Now let's see what happens if we try to connect these together. So bridge, reverse. Mm. It looks a bit funny here, but I think we can fix this. So let's Go to symmetry on the set. Take this edge here and hit the W key and move this one to about here. And it already looks much better. The rest is okay drop the tool. Now we can bring out our three different shapes. First is uh, this metal thing. Bevel this up, then shift click, bevel this 
in, shift click, bevel this up, shift click, bevel this in, and finally our flint itself, shift click, bevel it in, drop the tool. <coughs> uh, now unhide everything, bring in, oops, ah, uh, that should be easy to fix, delete it. And delete this ones too. So let's do it the same way as we did last time. Let's get rid of these two edges. Backspace key. Now we can select these edges here. Deselect the outer one. Yeah. And bridge these together. Edge bridge like so. Let's go out of symmetry and now we can put the edges back in with a count of two and symmetry. I find this much easier than to uh, bridge several areas, especially on longer, longer polygons. So that's fixed. Now I need parts visible, so I can put everything to the proper dimensions. First, this here, W key, move it up to about here, then this here, move it up to about here, like so. Yes, and now we need to harden some edges. So I select this edge, this edge, up arrow key. And once more, and then Alt-C, count of two, like so. And this should be good. So, next I go to side view show the bottom as well and show the top. <coughs> then uh, show the parts. We need this here a bit closer, like about so. Yes. Then I rotate the top, hit the E key, and select this edge here, and rotate this one to about here, hit the W key, and move it to about here drop the tool. Yes, that looks like a Zippo light, right? Now I will uh, put on some materials, uh, put in some decoration, make a nice render, and we'll see you after that. So, here it is. As you can see, I have added uh, some materials, lit closer, and I made this Chinese calligraphy sign, which by the way is uh, the sign for the year of the rat 
in which I was born. I uh, must admit, I much rather would be in the year of the dragon or of the tiger, but this is probably one of the things one cannot select. So, for the fact that I did not do a real dry run on this model before, as I did with all the others, I think it turned out pretty well. There are certain areas which I probably would make different or in different sequences the next time. But all in all, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I thank you very much for watching this. I wish you all the very best. Take care and have fun modeling with Modo. Bye bye. See you another time.